Hey guys, welcome to my second video on how to bypass uh, blocking software at your school. Um, I'm going to be focusing on bypassing proxies today. Uh, some companies and schools, in fact many these days, have uh, proxies which you have to connect to to get on the internet. Uh, <coughs> in this example, a proxy um, is it's like a gateway to the internet. It provides you access to the internet, and if you don't, if you're not going through a proxy, if you're not going through this particular proxy, then you can't get on the internet. So what I'm going to be sh showing you today is how to um, go through this proxy and still get on websites which would usually be blocked, i.e., Facebook. Okay, um, what I'm going to do here, um, just quickly. Okay, that's all good. Okay. Um, under edit preferences, uh, basically in your browser's proxy settings, um, if you're using Internet Explorer, they do have it does have proxy settings. Uh, most decent browsers do. Um, you might see something like this: uh, HTTP proxy is already set, and uh, you can't change that without not being able to access the internet. So that, you know, it's not a problem. We can get around that. Okay, what you're going to need are uh, you're going to need a shell account, and you're going to need a program called Putty. Okay. Uh, there's many free. There's many um, shell accounts that you can buy. Um, you can get free ones, I think, but they're not that great. So I suggest you uh, purchase one. Just search for shell accounts in Google and uh, pick one. Um, oh, I can't spell. Uh, yeah, the, the, apparently there's some free ones, but I wouldn't go for them for you. And uh, once you've done that, um, you can download Putty as well. Uh, that's for Unix and Windows. Um, download it, uh, just download that, and once you've got it you'll have uh, something which looks a bit like this. Okay, um, in here you need to enter uh, your shell account address, uh, IP address, or host name. Uh, in my case it's this This method, uh, this proxy, uh, you won't be able to use this when I've uploaded this video. Um, <coughs> you'll have to use your own one, so make sure you, you go, go out and find one. Um, so once you've set that, um, go under connection, click proxy. Uh, this is the proxy that your uh, school or um, work are using. Uh, in my case, it's uh, this address. It's probably going to be a local address, so it'll look similar to that, maybe. Um, doesn't matter if it doesn't, just enter wh whatever the uh, proxy is on your um, home or school network. Okay, once you've done that, <coughs> under the SSH uh, category, click on Tunnels, and then um, it doesn't matter what the port is, but in, in my case I'm using 1337. Click Add, make sure this is dynamic, your D1337, and once you've done that, just double check everything's good. Um, the reason I've set the shell account to accept connections on port 443 is because um, some proxies block uh, other things. 443 is HTTPS. Um, that's uh, it's used for banking and uh, buying stuff online, stuff like that. So the proxy that your school or home, uh, your school or work are using, will probably allow that port. Um, it's just a it's just something that you should do. So, when you uh, get your shell account, go to the um, SSH uh, daemon uh, config file and change the port to listen on 443. Okay, uh, make sure the proxy is set. Yeah, that's all good. If you have a username and password to get on the proxy, enter it here. Um, and under tunnels, make sure that's set to dynamic. Yeah, it is. Okay, once you've done that, you can uh, open up and you'll have something that looks a bit like this okay uh... just accept that uh... i'm logging in as example enter the password and you have set up your um, local proxy which will allow you to connect to uh, the internet uh, with unlimited access Okay, so go to Edit Preferences uh, in your browser. Um, go to the proxy settings again. Um, get rid of this HTTP proxy stuff. We don't need it anymore. And set localhost uh, in the SOX host. Set it to localhost, and then change the port to what you set it to earlier. In my case, it was uh, 1337. Click OK. Close. 
reload the page, and you have access to the internet. Um, what this is doing is uh, it's still going through the uh, the school or work proxy, but it's then going through. Um, it's, you're connecting to you're going you're connecting to your shell account, which is beyond your um, network, beyond the local area network. But you're going through the uh, corporate proxy, so you're you're being a good boy. You're obeying all commands. It's all good. And another good thing about this is that um, up to the point where your shell account is, this is an encrypted line. So um, your school or workplace won't be able to see what you're browsing because everything will be encrypted. Um, that's all I'm going to cover. I hope this tutorial's helped. I'm Rascal999. My blog's at rascal999.co.uk. Thank you very much.